Well, the midterms are just days away, and two candidates are running for San Diego Unified School Board District C. Becca Williams joins us now to share more about the final days of her campaign. Becca, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you. Let's establish where District C is. It's coastal, so La Jolla to Point Loma and University City. So it includes Pacific Beach, Mission Bay, that whole coastal area with University City looping out. Oh, okay. There it is, right there on the screen. Now, you have a background in education. Yes. Talk to us about that. Yeah, um, really the last um, eight years of my life have been, that, that's my main focus. So I was a classroom teacher, and uh, then I founded a network of uh, very successful, highly ranked charter schools. And um, I, in the last few years, I've been working on managing a curriculum company. So I also had two kids along the way, but my focus has really been steeped in education. Yeah. Um, and it's Valor, as it's called, right? Yeah, exactly. Valor uh, Public Schools, I, the schools are pretty amazing. They're, they're great books, classical schools, and parents are really happy about it and um, expanding, lots of kids coming, and very happy families. So what made you decide to jump into the race here? I think I have so much to offer to this school board, and I'm for education for all kids, and it can take different forms, but I really have a lot of knowledge about K-12 schools, and San Diego Unified uh, has been doing things that I think uh, someone needs to get in there and call out uh, different ways of doing things. What, what specifically would you cite? Uh, the pandemic response, their, their policies towards academics and grading, I think um, their stance towards um, 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 honors courses and all these things it's uh there's a whole range of topics that you know i've addressed in in previous conversations that uh it's i don't even know where to be begin it's a whole slew of things well you i i read in your correspondence that one thing you want to do is address kids and screen time yeah talk to us about that so this isn't one of the flashiest issues and i actually think it's one of the most insidious and i think parents always want the best for their kids no matter what it's the deepest impulse is to protect your kids and if there's something wrong with them they will do anything to stop it and it's really hard to show parents what screens are doing with kids a lot of times parents come into a school and they ask you know how many screens are they able to use how much technology and it's generally um, thought of as we the more technology the better uh, and I, I think um, as an educator and, and as we're moving into a generation that's grown up on screens, we have a serious mental health problem and the data is coming out that really suggests that the amount of screen time, it's, it's essentially a flat surface that doesn't represent you know, reality and it's constantly changing. And this is a really a large experiment that I think as an educator, I'm really passionate about, about calling out uh, the dangers of over, overusing and overextending what's a really powerful device that's uh, you know, greatly increased quality of life, but at the same time in certain ways really really insidiously stripped away at our quality of life and contributed to anxiety and depression in kids a lot. You mentioned the pandemic, and this, we went through a, a period where kids were doing distance learning. How, how do you think that should have been handled differently? Uh, this is a perfect example. So uh, there's a lot of data coming out with ties to distance learning and screen time. You're not interacting with a person. Like right now I'm sitting here, I'm talking to you, people are going to watch us on a screen, but you cannot substitute that difference. I mean, it is a world of difference. And it's kind of like if you ate fruity pebbles your whole life, you would probably be alive, but you'd be really malnourished. And that's what, um, there's something analogous with that with screens is that it is not the fullness of reality. You're not, we're made to interact. We're made for relationship. We're made for friendship. We're made to play in the mud and go and, and be out in fresh air. And the screens do not do that. And I think, um, you know, we have data points that suggest this is true, but just think about this for a minute. I mean, it's not, it, it actually isn't rocket science uh, that we, we are people and we're, we're made for contact with material reality in a way that a screen uh, cannot deliver on. Okay, anything you have? We're going to wrap up right now. Anything else you want us to know about you? Uh, this is a really hot race. I think both sides have spent almost a half a million dollars, uh, and this is really close. Please turn in your ballots uh, if you're interested in participating in this race. I really need every single vote. I've given, uh, I've given a, a whole year of this, and I'm happy to advocate for these things as well as many others. Please vote for me. All right, Becca Williams. Thank you. Thank you, Becca. And as a reminder, Becca Williams is facing off against Cody Pedersen for San Diego Unified School Board District C. It stretches along the coast, as she just explained, from Point Loma to La Jolla, essentially. All right, Mark.